Wow. I just want to pray because I'm going to be so honest. This is this is the movement of God on today. Mm-hmm. This ain't yesterday. This ain't last week. God is doing something. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, God, I come before you humbly, Lord. I repent for any sins I may have committed against you, knowingly or unknowingly, God. Hallelujah. Jesus, wash me in your blood. Cleanse me of my righteousness right now, Lord. God, I remit the sins of everyone under the sound of my voice, God. <laughs> Lord, I ask that you would truly prepare their hearts for the word that is coming back, your spirit on today, God. Father, let them see all of you and none of me, Lord, as I am only your mouthpiece, God, only a willing vessel in these last days and these end times, God, to prepare the way of the Lord. So I ask that you will, God, speak, Lord. Speak. Let none of me be seen in all of you, God. Let your word by your spirit prick the yes. hearts of your people, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the yes. Spirit of the Lord says into yes. the church. Yes. Father, I thank you for an atmosphere of love and peace, God. Yes. Though your word cuts, Lord, let the love of your Son, Jesus Christ, be felt, be made manifest in this place, Lord. For your word says, O oh God, that you chasten them that you love. Yes. In the name of Jesus yes. Christ, Lord, and that your grace is sufficient for us, God. Yes. And your grace is multifaceted. And we will learn of it today. In Jesus' name, I rebuke all spirits of error, every spirit of religion, yes. every spirit yes. of fear and offense in the name of the Lord Jesus Glory Christ. And I declare the living peace of God in this place, the peace that surpasses all carnal understanding. Yes. It is in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. It is so. Amen. 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 All right, look. I love y'all. I want, I want to say that. I really want to tell y'all I love you. Because the word of God is dangerous. It is dangerous. And the things that the Lord will have me to share today will be conflicting with many things that you know. So I really ask you, as an act of your will, to lay aside anything you ever knew before today. And let God's unadulterated word deal with your heart. Amen. Amen. Because today is August 31st, correct? Correct. Amen. Today is the last day of the beginning. Wow. Eight is wow. the beginning. Yeah. It was a shift. It's a major wow. shift. This is serious. Wow. The Lord put on this man's heart to allow me to preach on the last day of the beginning. Tomorrow's birth. Tomorrow's birth. This is not a game, y'all. Amen. This is the fulfillment of the prophecy which the prophets of old spoke concerning your Lord and Savior, if you really believe. Amen. We're going to a new level from today on. Hallelujah. So how you receive Amen. and how you act upon the word that goes forth today is between you and God. Hallelujah. I'm going to challenge many of you. The Lord, rather, will challenge many of you with the word that's getting ready to come forth today. This, this is very serious. I want to make this, complaint, this disclaimer because this is serious. Praise God. Amen. 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 Um, the Lord put on pastor to speak on 2 Peter, which speaks on character. And we're going to talk about character. However, we will also speak on the system which has led many of us astray. Amen. And if you are not aware of this system, you will not be able to receive the truth of the Word of God. I'm going to say that one more time. If you're not aware of the system, which is invisible to the naked eye, you will not be able to receive the truth of God that can save your soul. And I'm coming straight out the mouth, straight word, with understanding. Because understanding makes the whole difference. Yes. And then I have scripture to back that up as well. I want to show you all this tool and encourage you to purchase it if, if your finances will allow. But this is an investment that can change the way that your Christianity is. This is called a Strong's Concordance. You can also have some free tools online by going to Elia.com. If you have pen and paper, I really encourage you to take some notes today. Amen. But I, as you said, as he said, this will be for YouTube because this is this is a message for the end times. Amen. Strong recordings. Study to show yourself approved. Study to show yourself approved. And study makes all the difference. We're about to see that now. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Elia.com. E L I Y A H. E L I Y A H. All right, briefly. Stay with me, because I'm going to move quickly because of the time, but I'm going to make sure I do everything within my power to break down every single thing. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. All right. We will talk about 2 Peter 1, but before the Lord plays
place on my heart to speak about the system. If you have your Bibles, turn to Revelation chapter 2, verse 6. Man, you better come on. We're going to move quick. But this is, this is, this, just, just, just bear with me. Check this out. Revelation chapter 2, verse 6 speaks on the system. I use the terminology which I learned from another man of God. However, once he showed it to me, the Lord showed it to me instantaneously. Yes, sir. Does that yes, make sir. sense? Yes. He shared it with me, but once it was shown to me in the word, it opened up and I said, this is real. Yes. This is what I've known all these years. So it's a, it's a complete difference and we're about to see it. Revelation chapter 2 verse 6 is written in red so the Lord Jesus is speaking. He said, but this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds, we know deeds to be actions, of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Yes, sir. This is what Jesus yes, said and it's in the red. Watch this. The other scripture is... Revelation chapter 2, verse 15. This time it speaks on the doctrine. Doctrine is so important because doctrine is teaching, structural teachings. And the doctrines of demons we're about to see shortly. Revelation chapter 2, verse 6. I mean, excuse me. Revelation chapter 2, verse 15. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. So we see verse 6, he spoke on the deeds or the actions. Yes, sir. Verse 15, he spoke on the, the doctrine. doctrine. Yes, sir. Whatever doctrine it is you believe, you will act according. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, but he sir. spoke on deeds first, then he spoke on actions. So Jesus Christ, let's set this, let's set this straight. Jesus Christ hates the doctrines and deeds of this particular people. Yes, sir. Let's find out who these people are. My God, boy, you better preach up in the end. <laughs> That's Revelation. Now hold your finger there. This is, I want you to look at it though. I want you to actually see it with your eyeballs. Revelation chapter 2 verse 6. Look at the word Nicolaitans. Have you seen it? Yes, sir. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Now turn to John chapter 3. Who was Jesus talking to in John chapter 3? Say it again. Nicodemus. Watch this. Praise God. This is dangerous, family. This is, this is very dangerous. Nicolaitans, I'm going to give you what it means in a second, but look at the word Nicolaitans in Revelation 2, 6, and 15, and look at the man's name in John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Uh -huh. He was a ruler of the Jews. Yes, sir. Watch this. The word Nico means victorious over the people. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Think about what I said. Who are the people? You. We are the people. The system of the Nicolaitans are victorious over the people. They are heretics. Yes, sir. Listen what the word Nikos mean. Victory. Utterly vanquished one's foes. Yes. You are a foe to the Nicolaitans. Yes. Which is the system that crept into the church as we know it. Yes. Are y'all grasping this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Come with it. The system of the Nicolaitans is so dangerous because you become a part of the system thinking that you're with God, but by what the Word says, you really done. Wow. Wow. Good stuff. Good stuff. You see how dangerous? So you will be doing the actions, you will be dancing, you will be preaching, you will be doing all of these things. Go ahead. Go ahead. But if you're a part of the system, yeah. it's not real. Contaminated by 
United States Navy. Yes. Yes. This is why this is so critical. Yes. Today is the day to make the decision. <laughs> By the will of God, the purpose of God, the grace, which is multifaceted. For those who may not know what that means, think about a diamond that has many sides. One diamond, many sides, and manifestation. That's fascinating. The grace of God will allow you, even though you may have been in the system all these years, He will allow you on today to make the decision to reject, to reject it. it. Because yes, now you're getting the knowledge of yes, it. Sir. For years, I never had the knowledge. But once it was presented to me, I had the choice. Before you, I put life and death. And he gives you the option to take. My God. But God don't make you do nothing. Because, keep it real, the system feels good. Yeah. We can yeah. dance, we can shout, we can get money, we bring all these stars in and do all this stuff. Yeah. But when it comes to the meat and potatoes of the word, Come on. which is sharp and quick and powerful, which will literally cut your soul and your spirit apart, yes, sir. you have the choice to make yes, whether sir. I'm going to go with the soul or I'm going to go with the spirit. Right, right. I know it hurts. Yes, it hurts. But suffering is a part of Christianity. Yes, sir. To be honest, it's the prerequisite of true yes, sir. Come on, sir. Yes, sir. And today we have the choice to make. Yes, yes, yes. As much as it hurt, trust me, my wife would tell you, I walk around looking very grievous at times because of what's in me. Yes, sir. Because yes. I've been tricked too. Yes. And to have to yes. take the realness of the word right. and, and digest it. Yes. When you ask God created me a clean heart, my mm. God, do you not, Grandma say, do you mm. not know that the purging has come to make your heart? Yes. Yes. yes, sir. Come on, man. It come, it has to come. The refiner's fire of the Holy Spirit will burn off all drugs. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. The system is drugs. Where you grew up at is drugs. Yes, yes, sir. How you curve from where you from is all yes. drugs. Yes. And if we don't give it up, we can find ourselves in hell. Yes, it's yes. black and white. Yes, sir. Yes, it's yes, black sir. and white. Yes, sir. Yes. Trust me, it hurts. Yes. I've read God's word before in my mess because right. of the system. Right. And I literally pushed God's word away and said, what you mean? I'm supposed to be blessed. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't think you caught me. My God. Mm -hmm. wow. In my chase for money, wow. I was oh. serving God Come for on. a year and a half. Come on. In the system. Come on. I didn't even know it was real. Come on. I, I, I came from the baptism, and, uh, the Baptist background. And then at one point I came into what I thought was real. And granted, I learned more then in that than what I knew in the baptism world. Because what happens yes, is, is yes. levels to this thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even the deception, it has levels. Yes. So I came from the Baptist, no holiness, no purity, no righteousness, backbiting, getting drunk, sex out of marriage, you name it. Y'all know what the Baptist, yes. and many Baptists do. So then yes, when I came into the knowledge of, of, of God for real, get, uh, get filled with the Holy Spirit of 2008 and things of that nature, then I was living for God in the whole land. Little did I know I was in the system. Wow. So God in his mm, all things work together. Oh, all things work together. Watch this. I went back to the world for two years. For two whole years. After knowing God to a good degree. His grace, even though I was in the system, his grace allowed me to know him enough. Preach. To know the authentic from the foe. Yes. So when I came out of the world 2012, January 7, 2012, 1, Divine Unity 7, Spiritual Perfection 12, Divine Government Order. These days have significance. Don't, yeah. don't just look at don't look past it. Yeah. Yeah. That was the day I chose to really serve him. 1, 7, 12. Watch this. He showed me the system, and he peeled every layer back that has ever kept me blind. Wow. And I said, Lord, so all of that was, it was like, yes. Because it was all about the money. It was all about being seen. Mm. It was all about uplifting men. Mm. It was all about glorifying titles. Mm. It was about all of these things. Watch this, because this is where it hurts. Matthew chapter 7. And trust me, we're going to get into everything else. Matthew chapter 7, where, where is it, Lord? I just wrote it down. Well, I'm going to kick I'm gonna kick the scripture anyway. There it is. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Watch this. The system is, is, is we got scripture for this, so I'm not coming up with it. Watch this. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. This. Because we always, this is what the system also does. The system of, oh, mm, Jesus, mm, I know it hurts. Trust me, I know it hurts. Mm. The system causes one to only see the goodness of God but look past his judgment. Right. Come on. Come on. Even in your life. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. oh, God is good. Yes, he is. But he's also a righteous judge. Yes, and if he yes, said his yes, word that yes. this is what I would do, it's not different because you serving him. Right. right. Yes. Matthew right. 7, 21. Mm -hmm. Not everyone, not everyone yeah. that said unto me, yeah. Lord, yeah. Lord, yeah. have we not prophesied in your name? Yes, and then 
do who I am. Come but on, you sir. Were not intimate Preach. enough with me. You were not intimate enough to know only me. Wow. As a man knows a woman. That's where oneness comes from. Yes. I know the system is real. I've seen both sides. So when I see system, I can point it out. And it's not to offend you because this, this man, Jude. Come on. Jude. Yes, sir. Jude 4. Yes, sir. It's good. Jude 4. This is for the salvation of your soul. Because I'm here to tell you, it's not like they say it is. Yes, right. 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 It's not like they say it is. And more I read the word, my yeah. I'm broken because I'm like, God, the deception is so real. The deception. You can't out-trick Satan. You can't. That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. That's, That's why right. we have to lean totally on the Lord. Because it's impossible for you to get over on Satan. Yes, yes sir. You yeah. can't get over on him. That's right. He's been here way before you. Mm. Yeah. He yeah. was the wisest of angels, mm -hmm. the cherubs. Mm -hmm. He was the covering of God's glory. Yes. We can't trick him. No. So stop trying. Yes, right. And then God also says, I am not mocked. Mm -hmm. I'm not mocked. Yes, right. Whatever you sow, you will reap. Right. 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 That's, That's it. it. That's true. So we think we can dance and do this, That's it. Right. but we end up paying for it. That's That's right. Right. So as we're being presented with the system, you're able to make a choice. Watch this, June 4th. This is very serious. We're going to start with verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, Come on. it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you, or to lift you up and build you up, that ye should earnestly, here it is, because we don't learn this, we don't teach this no more, we don't look at it as what it really is. Come on. That ye contend for the faith. Yes, sir. You must fight to keep your salvation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've seen this yes, and I've lived it. Yes, sir. We are taught to believe differently. Mm -hmm. Once you say you good, and you can meander with your relationship with the Lord. Come on now. But you must mm. fight to stay safe. And yes. I got another scripture that Come will on. show it. Take us to Hebrews. That you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Watch this. Here it is. This is where it came from. But there are, not maybe, there are certain men crept in yeah. secretly, Secret. unaware, yeah. unnoticed. Come the word on. says unnoticed. Watch this. Who were before of old. When Elvis speaks of old, it's ancient. 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 So this one yesterday. Yeah, That's why the, si this, the system is so cleverly mm. woven yes. yes. into what we call yeah. the church. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Who were before of old ordained, appointed. Yes, appointed. Uh, yes. Come on. To yes. this condemnation. Uh huh. Here it is. Ungodly men turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. Mm. That's the license to sin doctrine. The license to sin. You can do what you want and just say, Lord, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's the doctrine that's crept into this church. And not only that, it brought many, many, many other things. Watch this. And denying the only Lord God and our Lord Christ Jesus. Watch this. 1 Timothy 4. Y'all seeing the scriptures weave together to bring this to pass? This is God's word. He says, Glory to Jesus. Study to show yourself approved unto God. Watch this, because this is what happens. We read the word here, we read the word there, and Satan, by the doctrine of devils, allow you to be influenced, thinking that this is just all that it is. Mm -hmm. The word of God says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman. You got to put it in work. You yes. need to not be ashamed. Right. Why? Because right. he can right. rightly divide That's right. the word of truth. It's easy to get stuck in one doctrine and yes, lean sir. so heavily on that. Yes. But there's another scripture which you neglected because of how you were taught to neglect. Which can be the determining factor of whether you go to heaven or hell. Wow. Oh my God. My Did you God. catch it? Yeah. yeah. The scripture, you, you my, your pastor, your pastor might just read 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 11 and never go to 12. Right. Come on, sir. Right. 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 And because of the way God created us in habit, it becomes habitual to you, yes. and you never, because of the way your subconscious has been filled, you never go to 12. Right. Wow. But right. 12 could have been the biggest right. key you needed That's to right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's the so system true. at work. That's yes, true. sir. All these years, all I knew was, um, what's the word? What's the, what's the scripture, Lord? Um, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Come on. Come on. That's all I knew. Right. Why? Because the system taught me that. Just that. The first time I read it for myself, 
knowledge. You know what that scripture say? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And yeah. if you reject knowledge, I'll reject I'll you, and you will be no priest to me, yes. and I'll forget your children. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. I said the scripture before. The right. person said, what? And somebody else behind me said, that's the word. Because the other lady was systematic, and the other one won't. Right. So when the truth came right. forth, even though it hurt, you're able to bear it and That's say, right. this is for my salvation. Right. I'm either right. going to take it or not. Right. And I'm going to share with you this. Come on, sir. This is where it gets dangerous because this is where the toes get hurt. But it's okay. That's right. Because God right. chases those who he loves. Yes, I got it. Excuse me, some stuff coming out of me, man. That's how God do. Excuse Perfection. me. This is where <laughs> If you heard me on the power line, you know when I'm ministering, being obedient, he delivers me right before you. Amen. This ain't a joke. Amen. This ain't a joke. It's okay. If you know you got demons, it's okay. Because the same Jesus that cast the demons out in the man in Mark, he will cast demons out of you. Because most of your pastors by the system tell you Christians can't hide demons. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. 1 Timothy 4. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, earnestly, that in the latter times, right now, some shall, not maybe. This is going to happen. Some shall depart from the faith. What faith? The true the faith true of God. Faith. The unadulterated, no watered down, no cut whatsoever word of God. Yeah. Then what? Watch this, because this is where it gets dangerous. Some shall depart from the faith, giving heed. Giving heed means to lower your will. Right. You have a will. You have a will. Mm -hmm. And it's very dangerous because the doctor. Seducing spirits and doctrines. Yes. Remember, we just saw doctrines of what? The Nicolaitan. Right. Yes. Which was ordained by Satan. Because you know what? I did nine years in the military. I learned something. And we got to stay mindful of this. We're soldiers of the Lord. Yes. Not just the angels. The Lord is called the Lord of hosts. Right. Not just the heavenly hosts and the mighty men of valor in the heavens, but also us being his army on the planet. Yeah. That's 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness, and we're coming back to that, endure hardness as a good soldier of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. No man that goes to war entangles himself with the affairs of this world. Yes. Watch this. The doctrines of devils. I found the best way to really get your enemy. You can do hard, straight up warfare. You can. But you know the easiest way? It's called subversion. Right. We teach it today. Yes, subversion. <laughs> that means to, mm, that means to infiltrate. Yes. yes. Infiltrate the enemy yes. and then begin to change their doctrines, their morals, and everything they right. believe slowly. A little bit by little bit. Yes, sir. And when you do that, See, we're talking long, we're talking, we're talking real warfare. Because Satan got time. Now, we almost out of here, so we had time. But since he came in so long ago, years and years and years and years, so all this different stuff that we do in a lot of these churches came straight from the pit of hell. Right. So when I seen the book you had, Pagan Christianity. Yes, sir. So if you don't know this by the Spirit, Come on, sir. you will be tricked. Free. Yes, sir. You will be tricked. Because we've all came into the system because we're all at least under 80 years old. And even then, this thing goes back hundreds yes, and nice. hundreds of years. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't have the spirit of God yeah. deep in your soul and have a man or woman of God who has their eyes open, I'm just mm -hmm. telling you what it is, mm -hmm. to reveal it to you, you won't know it. Mm -hmm. and that's why the word of God says, if it were possible, yeah, if it were possible. Yeah. Even the very elect would be deceived. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's real deception. Yes. Yes. That's real deception. Yes, sir. The deception is so keen. My God. If you don't have, I'm, I'm, this is dangerous. People go to hell for this. Yeah. There's many people that thought they was right with God yeah. and hell now. Right. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Because after receiving a message like this, forget my keys. I'm the mouthpiece of God. After receiving a message like this, you have a decision to make. Yes, and we will pray as well. Lord, reveal the system to me yes. and take it out of me. Because yes. I'm going to keep it real. Yes. Every last person in here got system in yes. right. 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 Every last person. Right. Right. So this is the determining factor of allowing God to purge you so that you can really be who you're called to be. Yes. Yes. Because you can't with the system in you. Right. Yes. I literally, with my own eyes, and I kept on crying. I couldn't cry yesterday in front of them because I had to be strong. And then even today, I almost broke down crying in the room because of the severity of the battle. Right. To literally, with my own eyeballs, watch one of my family members go to hell right. in front of me. Wow. Wow. I had to do warfare. My God. But if you
you systemize in church, what you gonna stand there and say the devil is a liar? Mm -hmm. wow. Instead of having the authority and true relationship with Jesus Christ to rebuke them spirits, that's right. that's to bind right. them spirits, and to render them powerless, and to speak in tongues, not make up words. Come on, yeah. sir. Yeah. Come on. And make sure that you don't have a spirit of, of false tongues. Wow. Because that's real. Yes, People say, I've been speaking in tongues for 20 years. What do they mean? People have demons all their life. Yes. Come on, yes. Yes. That's the truth. And if you share something like that with a person and they get offended, well, I'm sure I pointed the demon out by the light of God. Ah, yes. My God. Yes, sir. I can't worry about feelings when, right. when, when, when ISIS is on TV talking about we coming come to on. a neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Come, on. Wow. Come, on. Right. come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And as a prophet of God, and I'm having dreams that's showing me that the jihad is coming to America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I must repent to yeah. you, you, and all of y'all because I stayed here for all this time and I was disobedient. Wow. Oh, my God. I was disobedient. To share about the truth even with the Bible. Wow. We on. sat here last week with the NIV Bible. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the deception. Say it. Yeah. Say Who it. has the NIV right now? Please raise your hand. Anybody? You got the, that the NIV? Mm -hmm. Alright. Who got the King James Version? Glory to God. This is the, this is the salvation of souls right now. We are not playing games. You got the NIV? Please turn to Matthew chapter 17. And we're going to start at verse 20. Who got the King James over here? Y'all going to read it? Praise God. <laughs> Alright. Let me know when you get there. Where are we going? Matthew chapter 17. We're going to start at verse 20. No, wait, wait, Renee. You got it? 20, verse 20. We're going to start at 20, but hold that, hold that one quick. You got, you got it now? Yeah. Could you please read? Y'all pay attention. Because this, yeah. this is serious. This, this could be the difference between you going to heaven and hell. I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. Matthew chapter 17, verse 20. Could you please read? And Jesus said unto them. Read to 22, please. Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible to you. Verse 21. How that this time goeth not out by prayer and fasting. And while they abode in Galilee, That's Jesus enough. said... Could you start at 20, please, and read the 22? Pay attention, please. <laughs> she had the King James Version, Pastor uh, Kia. And Sister Renee had the NIV. Uh, John. 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 Brother Marquise, you want me to say what our... <laughs> yes. Please start at verse 20 okay. and go to 22 for the people. He we, replied. We did not orchestrate this. This is happening no. right before the real time. I have remarked it, so. He replied, verse 20, because you have so little faith, I tell you the truth, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Verse 21. Nothing will be impossible for you. Verse 21 is not present there. in no, not. Matthew it's not there. in the NIV. Can you repeat that? Excuse me, Pastor Marquis, can, can I interject something real quick, sir? Uh, Y'all know that we are a teaching ministry. Amen. Okay? And because we are a teaching ministry, and I have to do this. Pastor Marquis is absolutely correct. Okay? For those of you who are part of Impact, he is absolutely correct 100% positively. That's why I told you some months ago, I told you, first of all, get yourself a hard copy Bible and make sure you have a King James Version and you can get whatever other translation and you compare them. You need a parallel version Bible and, one of, and the other thing I told you to get is an interlinear Bible. You need this stuff because they are changing the scriptures and this is an assignment from the enemy to make sure that you are so systemized that you don't know the word for yourself. And our responsibility is to teach you the word of God. That's why can, 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 That's why we ain't going to be all of this, this thousand member church and all this kind of stuff. Because we need intimate fellowships just like this to make sure you get the truth of the word of God. That's all I got to say. Go ahead, Pastor. Praise I'm God. sorry. I just had to. Praise God. Verse 21 is absent. Verse 21 is absent. But I have it. <laughs> I, I got it. Just, it's it's written in mine. I wrote it. <laughs> Zero. Amen. But I wrote it. Yeah. The Lord. scripture is literally not there. That's just one. That's just one. Yes, ma'am. In the amplified version, it's there, but it's um, italicized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are some that don't have it at all, like the NLT, the CUV, mm -hmm. the NIV, and others. But there are some Bibles that do have it and change the words. But the fact of the matter is, this is evidence of a system, evidence of Satan's power. He is the God of this world. 
Right. Yeah. He has blinded the minds That's of them major. that believe not. Yeah. That's Amen. major. Amen. That's major. Because yes. we were just passing out. It's just, well, I just get, you know, I, we will sit there because of the system. Because of the system. And brush it off. You take your M4 and M16 rifle, but don't put your fire pin in there and run out on the battlefield anywhere and watch what happens to you. <laughs> I'm going to compare that one time. Take your M4 or M16 rifle or any handgun you may have and go out on the battlefield with no firing pin and watch what happens to you. You have a faulty weapon. Therefore, you can't defend yourself or save your brother. Come on, sir. Come on. Wow. You can't. You can't. This is how critical this is for the salvation of your soul. Watch this. This is God's business. He loves us. See, we think just because God loves us, he's just supposed to bless us. True. True, 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 true. But God's blessing in his, man, he it's said, true. I chase it. I chase it that I love. Yeah. The grace of God is what saves us. So he can have his umbrella of grace on you for all these years, knowing that if you were to die, the possibility you're going to heaven could be to him. To keep you alive long enough to get the yeah. real yeah. truth. Yeah. 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 To give you the choice to make. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I done had people put guns in my face, run up in my house. I done had some people as close as me uh, past Kenya shooting in my car. This close. And I ain't get hit. Don't tell me about grace. <coughs> <coughs> but because of the purpose that God put in me mm. and my willingness. Yeah. My willingness and desire to know and want the truth. Yeah. He said he'll send them strong to losing if they'll believe a lot. Who? The ones that love not the truth. Right. So even if it hurts, even if it caused you to have to go home and empty your closet or whatever you have to do, pour out liquor or whatever type of stuff, throw away your old ministry tapes from other people because they're in the system. Trust me, and they don't need you to hell. I'm just keeping it real. If you have to go do that, then you do that. Yeah, that's it. Yes, sir. Because the Lord said, thank you, Father. I'll have no other gods before me. Right. right. That's right. You know, people glorify their pastor. I just said that yeah. why people glorify President Obama. Yeah. They're in the system. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's right. A real man or woman of God would just know who he is and know God's place yeah. and purpose for that right. man, right. which is to lead America into destruction. Right. I don't know if they're ready for wow. Right. That's his purpose. Right. Because America will be judged because of all that we've done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now is the time, saints of God, people of God. To gird yourself up, and as he placed in my belly, and it's so real that they even felt it. That's why I'm up here today. This is God's business. Prepare for battle. That's it. Yes, sir. Our brothers and sisters is on the mountain in Iraq because ISIS has ran them from their homes. Can you look in the mirror and really say, I'm ready for that? At this right now moment, forget a week from now how far you grow. Can you right now sit here and honestly say, Right now, if people came in here with AK-47 from here and here, that you would stand up if they said, who loves Jesus Christ and Nazareth and ready to die right now? Come on, sir, make it plain, sir. This is the choice we must make. We mm -hmm. must make it. Make it plain, mm -hmm. sir. He yeah. said, if you deny me before man, I will deny you. He gave no stipulation. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. No. And if we're not ready, if we're not ready, we will deny him. Mm. You will. Amen. I don't care how holy, how sanctified you think you are. Right. Come on, sir. Come on. Make We're enjoying plan. Christianity in the peace of air conditioning mm -hmm. and, and, and lights and things of that nature. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you've not defended the faith unto blood. Mm. Yes. On, yes. Stir it's it in up. the Bible. Stir it up. Yes. It's That's in the Bible. So and now more yeah. than ever, as the dispensation has shifted in the spirit realm, I wonder why I'm walking around feeling so heavy. My God. Because we're about to do mm. battle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if you ain't ready, you will be a casualty. Mm. 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 Who mm. might or might not make it into heaven. Amen. 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 This is the critical. This is so critical. I be walking around trying to keep from boohooing all the time. Mm. From the stuff that's sitting in me. This is this is the moment. Who knows what's going to happen on September 11th yeah. this time? Yeah. These people are planning to destroy our nation. Did you not know that? Yeah. I've seen it with my own eyes in the spirit. I've had a Russian soldier run up on me in my dream and put a weapon in my face, in my dreams. Yeah. And my dreams come to pass. Yeah. They do. As a watchman of God, according to Ezekiel 33, I must warn the people to turn from their wicked ways, repent. That's it. Yes. Even you. Yes, Lord. Yes. 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 Y
My God. And he said, if the man, this scripture almost made me jump out the window. I was so scared. The scripture said, if the righteous scarcely be saved. Mm. Listen to this scripture. Yeah. Where yeah. Be if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Mm. Two groups. Ungodly, them that have the form of godliness or might know the Lord, but they love in his flesh. Mm. It's ungodly. And the sinner, no relationship with the Lord Jesus as well. If the righteous, people that live living right, doing what they're supposed to do, by the skin of their teeth get in, then where should the other people get in? Thank you, my God. Heaven to hell is eternal hell. And we must look at our hearts, look at our lives, really and truly, and say, Lord, at all costs, at all costs, God, please have yes. mercy on me. Yes, Lord. I don't want to go. See, people get so religious. This is the system. People get so religious, they don't even just want to keep it real and tell God, I don't want to go to hell. They act like they're so holy. They got it all together. We got all these books and tapes. That's the system. Again. Yeah. What's wrong with telling God, Lord, I don't want to go to hell. Yeah. I believe you called me and chosen me, and I want to do everything that's pleasing to you because I want to enter into your gates. Yes, sir. Being able to humble yourself because part of the system is pride. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's pride. You just know it. They walk around like this. And it could be you. Yes. It could be me. So every time I get a chance, Lord, please, That's right. please, Lord, right. have mercy on my soul. Yeah. I walk through the day, all day, praying and repenting. All day. Yeah. All day. Yeah. Paul said, how can I get these people in and myself be a castaway? Yeah. This ain't no game. Mm -hmm. And Satan wants you to always think you are all right with God. Yes, yes. Mm. yes he does. Always. When we contend to wrestle for the faith. Watch this. And we're going we gonna to get ready to do whatever the Lord will have to be done in here. I hope you really got these scriptures. This Lord, hallelujah. Salvation. Verse 4. Okay, watch this. Second Peter, chapter 3. This blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. See, when you in there with God, I'm burning up with the Holy Ghost right now. I want you to know that. Because you need to know the truth of the matter. That I ain't just up here preaching in flesh. This is an ordained moment of God. Yeah. Him to be glorified, not me. If y'all never see me a day again, that's fine. You take what God put in you today and you use it unto his glory. Amen. Because only what we do for him will last. Amen. I don't care how many people you know. I don't care how thick your Rolodex is. I don't care if you got pastor friends over here. I don't care if you know being here in person, you can text them. None of that means Amen. anything Amen. to me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> anything. Because there is a remnant, and everybody is not what they appear to be. Come on, That's the sir. purpose of deception. Right. Come That's on, the sir. purpose of deception. That's it. Satan knows where he's going. And he wants to do anything to take you with him. To spit in the face of God. Anything. He'll speak to your daughter. He'll use your child. He will use your child. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Woman of God, people, do, mm, do not let your children become gods in your life. That's right. It's easy to happen. And we're going to go there in a second with the word temperance. I didn't even know what temperance meant until yeah. I looked it up today. It says self-control, self even with your passions and desires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One who masters their passions. Passions wow. and desires. That's the word temperance. In, in Second Peter. The word temperance. Being able to control that. That if the time came, because everybody don't go there, but I have to go there. If the time came and your child was taken and a weapon put to their head, mm. and you would give it, yeah, because everybody don't hear it. I know. Yeah. I right. know they don't. And they say, look, I will splatter your child all over this place and, unless you deny Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. you, you have to have that in your mind to be able to take to God now. Come on, sir. You got to deal with it now, because if you don't deal with it now and you're not ready, if it does arise, because plenty going through it, you will deny him. Lord forbid your child is to leave, but trust and believe the Spirit of God will take them yeah, right up. Yeah, you can yeah. deny him just to save your child and go straight to him for yeah. eternity. Mm. Because you didn't have the relationship with the Lord which you needed. Because if any man put their wife, children, husband, anything before me, he is not worthy of yeah. him. Me. Come on, sir. Right. Oh, Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know it ain't easy. I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy, bro, but this is where we're in. Yeah. Because I reckon that the sufferings of this present time yeah. are not yeah. worthy to be yeah. compared. Yeah. You can't put it in the same sentence. Mm. The glory that shall be, that is a promise. Yeah. Yeah. Shall. shall. It's
it shall be. The glory that shall be revealed in us. Because if you truly are God and he is really in you, when the time comes we put off this old flesh and we change in the moment of a twinkling of an eye, the literal glory of God will shine through you. Literal. So we must, must begin to see what's most important in my life. And I'm running to every family event. Am I running to, to go here to everything that you ain't got? Am I running to be in everybody's face? Am I running to do all this? Or am I going to ensure that I am ready to pull out my sword and do battle for the Lord God of heaven? With Russian soldiers here and ISIS walking around with no beards and normal clothing to do destruction on this nation. Will I be ready to stay? You put on your armor so you can stand in what? The evil day. Yes, yes my God. Yes. Helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, uh, Lord's girl of all with truth, feast out with the preparation of the gospel of peace, sword of the spirit, which is the true and living word of God, and above all else, the shield of faith, where which you shall be able, yes. shall be able to extinguish every dark. Yes. Every one of them. You reading out of CEV, you reading out of NLT, and you running to every church meeting they got. These people deceive themselves. How you gonna be ready to fight? Come on, sir. How you gonna be ready to fight? Why well, need the words? Why so need to go over here? Wait. Has the Spirit of God even allowed you? Is the Spirit of God strong enough in you to filter the trash coming through them because they deceive themselves? Yeah. Wow. Or have you lowered your will just because you need a word to go up in there and more deception coming into you by the Nico legend system? Nico meaning con, conquest, contest, confused, and the words that are spirit coming to your own soul and confuse you. This thing ain't no joke, y'all. This is eternal. What we do here will matter forever. What we do here matters forever. And I was systematic. And I said, Lord, get it out of me. It is a virus. It is a cancer. And it can take you to hell. I watched my own family member full of the system almost go to hell in front of my own eyes. Everything that came out of their mouth while we sitting here administering real truth, system came out of their mouth. And I'm trying to hold it back because I'm like, Jesus, I hate this thing. Because everything I say, they came back with system because that's all they knew. Right. And they get ready to go to hell. So I'm in there praying and praying and rebuking and that am I just going to hell to save them from going to hell in front of me. So I, I preach with unadulterated passion and I'm not playing because your feelings don't matter when it comes to where you're going. Paul said, have I become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. Come on. That's the word. Because if I, if I become your enemy by telling you the truth, that goes to show that me and you ain't brothers for free. That's right. That's right. Because what's in me ain't what's in you. You're supposed to, oh, bro, that hurt, but pray for me. Let's get this together. Let's get some deliver. Let's do something. Say, oh, you think, oh, you, you oh, 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 what, what you said? What, what? But you the same one that was, oh, so now you, you start to accuse. That sound like the devil, which means the accuser of the slander, yeah. the accuser of the brother. So because I stirred you up, them demons don't like it. So now you point out my flaws instead of taking what I say.
what they said. They either told the person to die or their heart to stop and the person literally dropped dead. And they were like, oh my God. So they prayed and the Lord brought them back. You got to know who you are. Beloved, now we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be. You're more than what you think you are. But if you ain't tapped into the, the actual spirit of God with purity, you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to make it. You can't be the son. You can't walk in the fullness of God. You can't do it. You can't. You can't. And I want that. That's why I sit around and meditate and think about doing miraculous things that Jesus didn't do. What you mean Jesus ain't do it? Well, the Bible does say uh, greater work shall we do. But how you, you know the system, how you going to do greater things than Jesus did? Because the Bible says so. Jesus didn't have to worry about intercontinental ballistic missiles or tanks or assault rifles or any type of thing like that. He didn't have to deal with those those super viruses and stuff that they're creating and releasing on the people or giants walking around or any of these uh, much uh, atrocities that these people are creating in secret underground bases, all the stuff that most people never know about, never think about, but it's a reality as as sure as we sit here. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't have to deal with all that. So he will equip us as his sons because he said, if you're doing the will of my father, I'm fine with calling you brothers. Right. No servant, here you go, to catch this, this will mess up your doctrine. No servant is greater than the master. master. Uh-huh. They are equal. Because yes, when you get to a place in God, Jesus said, you're pretty much me. That's <laughs> right. I'm in you anyway. Oh, you know your will to the point that I manifest myself through you, so I am you. I am you because you're not there. You're dead and you're hitting in me and I'm hitting in him. Therefore, we're all in each other. Wow. we all in each other. So I can give you myself. I can give you my power because you don't want to do what you want to do. You want to do what I want to do. And I only want to do what he want to do. Amen. Preach that. That is so good. I want to do what he want to do. Not my will, but yours be done. Well, leave your family go over there. Well, Lord, baby, I love you. I mean, you know, love you, but I got to go. But did God really say that? Go to him yourself and find out. Let's do it. Because if it's his will, he'll make a way. He'll make a way. I might be gone for three months, six months, whatever, because I might just need to focus solely on him. And I don't need you or church or nobody running around distracting me because the next level we're going to, I need to be prepared as a general of the army that the Lord needs to be. Right. Yes. Right. Then we go to the 